In this fourth Excel tutorial, what we're going to look at is we're going to use the VLOOKUP function, which is a really useful tool for um, sorting and finding and classifying data. Um, and I've used the VLOOKUP tool as part of a vocabulary um, resource for students that I've been working with who are learning a foreign language. And in this instance, we're going to make a translator that allows children to um, search for vocabulary words that, that they might need to remember. And what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an array um, on sheet 2. So if we come down to the bottom here, um, we don't need sheet 3, so I'm going to just right click on the tab for sheet 3 and click on the delete option um, and we make sure we're on sheet um, 2, which we are, and then if you look up here, whenever we click in a cell, as I showed you before, a cell um, address changes wherever the icon has, um, the cursor has been clicked in which cell becomes active. But what we're going to do today is we're going to select a range of cells. Now, when, you're, when you do this, I recommend that you make your array as large as you possibly want to make it um, when you first make it. And you can see that in the cell address here, we still have A1, even though a whole range of uh, cells have been highlighted. What we want to do is make that entire range of cells um, an array, and we do that by deleting the cell address and giving it a name. So I'm going to call this one Translator and press Enter. So now that array has been, caught, has been named, and it's basically that the array refers to the group of cells from A1 through to a B13. And arrays are invisible, you can't see them. Um, I click in this cell here and here and here and here and here and nothing appears up in here that says the word translator. It's not until we highlight those cells again from A1 to B13 um, that the word translator comes up. So what I like to do is I actually like to fill my cells that are in my array with a different colour just so that on a, any spreadsheet I know exactly where my array is. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill column A with English words and we're going to fill column B with the equivalent um, French word. And as my French is exceedingly limited, um, it won't be, it'll be a very short list. Uh, let's do some colours and basically this um, translator um, can be used in your classroom so that children can keep adding to this list or you can keep adding to it and the children keep, can keep referring back to it um, and this can be applied to many different things but this is how I've used it in a classroom um, oops. let's do black just so you get the idea of what's going on um, one more and so you'd carry on for as long as you wanted to. Now all the action is going to happen on sheet 1 and we're going to create uh, a function here, I'm going to make a, just a little box make it look tidy um, and in this cell here it's in this cell that all the actions um, the formula is going to be and the formula is going to look at whatever text you type into cell A1 and to use that we're going to use the function VLOOKUP so we highlight the cell B1 click equals and for me, because I, I use VLOOKUP a lot, um, it comes up as the first option. But for you to find it, you'll need to click on the drop down arrow here, go to more functions, and everything's listed alphabetically, and so it's right down the bottom here. Just went past it. There it is, VLOOKUP. Click OK. So we're going to use the VLOOKUP. Let's just zoom into this. And as you can see, um, we have four values to fill out. We have the lookup value, which will be cell A1, the name of the table, the co index column number, and the range lookup. Okay, and so we're just going to carry on through this, and I'll explain how it all works in a moment, so I'll just go through this. The lookup value is cell A1. The table array is, where well, you can type in translator here, or you can just click on sheet 2 and highlight, because you've coloured it, the range of cells, and it comes up with translator. What's going to happen now is that we're going to 
look up the column index. So what we want to do is um, the lookup value A in the cell A1 is going to be looked up in the array translator in the column in the first column and as soon as that word is found what's going to happen is Excel is going to look at the corresponding column that we tell it so we're going to tell it our array can be as many columns wide as we like in this instance only two we want it to return the value from column two and we need to uh, then type in the word false and if I zoom into this you can see the syntax again okay so look up what's in A1, look up that value in the first column of the array called translator. When you find that word, if you find that word, return the value of the second column on the same row to this cell to the, um, and then use the word false. This is how it works. So click OK. And to test if that works, what we do is we can click in here and let's type in one of our words. Let's type in the word green, press enter, and it comes back with the word vert. And let's type in yes, and it changes to oui, and so on. And so this is a really useful little tool, um, and you can use it as a, in a testing situation. Um, and children can, um, you can give them a list of words or whatever, um, and you can go on and use it. And finally, what you can do is, if you don't want the students to actually um, edit this, you can hide this um, sheet from them by going Format, down here, where's my worksheet? Sheet, and see the option here to hide. Just make sure you can see that. So it comes here, Format, drop-down box here, Sheet, and Hide. And so now, when we look at our worksheet, when the students open it, although it's not secure, you can, uh, you can equally unhide it if they know the trick, but I'll show you how to lock things up later. There's only one thing here in sheet one. And so the children can come back into here and just type in no and get no. Okay? And you can reverse it. You can make sure that they know which these words are. You can put the French words in first, etc., etc. Another really useful little tool that I've used in Excel in the classroom um, and it's just one of those administrative tools that sort of makes life um, really good. So another tool, hope you enjoy it um, and in the next uh, Excel lesson we're going to be looking at macros to automate your life.